Emmanuel has been treated in a very barbaric way. I'm not here to judge what Emmanuel has done or has not done. But he has not been treated like a human being. And he has not been treated in accordance with our laws. He has his enemies clearly in the UPND government who are using the police and all the systems of our criminal justice to punish him. They are actually on the verge of getting him dying. We can lose Emmanuel. He has been pushed as a, to, to almost the limit as a human being. Even those who have committed the worst crimes are never treated that way. Even those who are on treason, they are never treated that way. Emmanuel has been subjected to excessive cruelty. This is not the rule of law that we are promised. Even some of the cases being brought against him. I'm a bit familiar with them because some of them happened when I was still a journalist at the post. We covered them. And some of them involved the people who were working for the post. Welcome Those to matters to were adjudicated upon. And judgments were passed. Eight years, nine years later, some people come and wanted to try JJ for the same things. The next video is a video Where is of Omar Carter, President Edgar which Chandler, says once a matter has been adjudicated upon the courts have court decided you January only have video. one way to deal with it if you are not satisfied to appeal. They never appealed for eight years. They never appealed for eight years. Those who were involved with the matter. JJ saved the judgment that was given to him and it was it was fined. Some of his collaborators who had much more deeper problems went to jail three years or four years. What more do you want from a human being? Churchini. But Imilanduna e na ila pua. Tapa be milandu ishi pua. Nga mwapu ishi omulandu ishi na upua. The same way when you have buried someone, they have died. You, they don't come back. You don't go and start exhuming bodies. They will just have to wait for that day of resurrection. When our Lord comes back to take them. So you can see that it's not justice that is being pursued in the case of JJ. It's vindictiveness, it's vengeance. Yes, I didn't like what JJ did. But he cannot be punished forever. He cannot be punished forever. He was punished, it ended. Whether we were satisfied or not satisfied with this case, that's it. The courts decided. You can't go back to start arresting him for the same case and re prosecuting him again. Prosecuting him again. It's inhuman. The judgments are there. They were published. Uh, were visited by the state police. We are not really privy to the full nature of the mission, but they did visit and their visit they kind of caused some uh, fracas. I was called by the uh, regional superior for the Society for Missions in Africa, the same just when they came out of church to tell me that uh, the church was surrounded by the police. So when I asked what was it about, they said, no, it looks like maybe they are looking for some opposition politicians. So I said, but it is the wrong place for the opposition politicians. So I just advised them to continue.
Enjoyed today's content. Have you subscribed yet? We are not playing, we are not talking here. You should not just stand up and issue a statement as if people don't think. So, uh, I'm not happy about the whole situation. I've made it known to the government that I'm not happy about it. And I do not want such a situation to repeat itself. Boys to note, as a recruit as stripping the AK-47, they are aligning the parts accordingly to the way they are supposed to be aligned. Exactly 25 seconds, ladies and gentlemen. Now they're assembling the weapon. Recruits have certified that the weapon assembled properly and ready to be used. Exactly that was done within 30 seconds. Subscribing, <laughs> 